you are a prodigal son a prodigal daughter a prodigal father a prodigal businessman a prodigal man of god you can stand from that point go ahead and pray go ahead and pray go ahead and pray Go ahead and pray. Take a minute to pray. I repent from pride. I repent from pride. A life of boasting and pride. I repent from it. If I'm, I'm lifted, it's because of your mercy. If I'm anointed, it's because of your mercy. Someone pray. If I'm helped by God, it's because of your mercy. If I have anything that is worth clapping for, it's because of your mercy. Koinonia, a product of your mercy. Intellect, a product of your mercy. Help, a product of your mercy. Go ahead, pray. Zaria, pray. Those connecting online pray. I repent from pride. I repent from vainglory. Except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over a city, the watchmen watch it but in vain. It is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow. But he gives his beloved sleep. You came for a miracle service. God is taking away from you like a, a surgery happening to your life. These are the cancers, the viruses that are stopping you from making progress. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Jia do wata Banda wani se kai Meirahama Gawaye Pray, let it be from the depth of your heart. Let the merciful one visit you tonight. Show you mercy. ordinary results you see in the life of ordinary men these are the forces that are at work I can easily pray for you it does not take so much to cast out demons it is not even the ability of the man of God it does not take so much to minister healing but these are the weightier matters keeping your destiny down it's not enough to heal you the, the what is depressing you that even needs you being healed from depression is what I'm solving hallelujah many believers are not sick many believers are not necessarily oppressed but there are people who come in and out of church and shout amen and fall down and rise up and they don't move forward the Lord placed it upon my heart tonight I came in the spirit of a surgeon and what what God is doing to many people is taking you to the theater and opening you up removing some things and fixing other things that by the time you are out of this spiritual anesthesia you will find out that the pain is no longer gone that the pain is no longer there you are you are completely recovered you are you are healed you will find out that the backwardness was as a result of a mindset and that there are certain traits laziness destroyed many dishonor destroyed many pride 
destroyed many. Unforgiveness destroyed many. Okay, strings is not here. Okay, David Dam or anybody. I want to sing this Rahama song for me. If there's no guitar, anybody, Sam, just sing it for me. It's one of his songs. I just sense that there's an anointing. You sing it for me one time. to hear it and for as long as I'm alive to say it this is one of my covenants with God that if you will let men see me there is nothing I will not give you this is what God told me many years ago if you will let men see me if you learn how to hide behind the cross and allow men see me you have a choice you can direct them to yourself and be the superstar and be the celebrity and be the center of attraction but the consequences that follow such a choice you must be willing to go with it but if you will let men see me there is nothing I will not give you I'm about to pray for you if we stop here tonight this was a great miracle service you may not understand the surgery you are going to list these five things I'm the one who will give you the prayer request I, whether you want to lie down whether you want to cry for the next two or three minutes I'm going to be listing these five traits where you have any of them missing in your life please swallow your pride and cry before the God of heaven the first is gratitude the second is honor the third is diligence the fourth is forgiveness the fifth is humility which of this is not working in your life koinonia cry tonight go ahead cry before the god of heaven cast your golden crown shama sana seleke pereke tabaraka tosiata kebrate saliga barantos yata i repent from ingratitude someone is praying cry unto god the merciful one repent from ingratitude repent from dishonor dishonor in ministry dishonor in destiny repent from laziness it's time to embrace diligence someone pray cast away this cancer of unforgiveness is blood is brought high blood pressure now you have a BP problem because of unforgiveness pray finally the grace for humility I tell you pride is a destroyer pride is a cancer it eats up the health of your days the health of your destiny take a minute to pray outside make sure you are praying all the overflows pray connecting across the globe pray whether you are in your home this explains the tragedies that have come upon your life maybe in the last few months in the last years it cannot be unconnected to the absence of these things
one more minute you are praying he that honors me I will honor he that despises me I will lightly esteem in the name of Jesus Christ you see that tonight the miracle service is from inside out it's not just shouting amen there is an inner work of the spirit that he is doing God is diagnosing the conditions of many people he's showing you that it's not about shouting amen no it's like a patient that has cancer and you are giving him Panadol the Panadol can stop the headache but the patient will be dying father in the name of Jesus you have impressed this upon my spirit and I brought this word to your people Tonight, for the tens of thousands following across the globe and the many who are here and those who are connected, in the name of Jesus I pray that these cancers that have latched onto our spirits, latched onto our souls, scheduling seasons of pain and recycling the same, I pray in the name of Jesus that they drop dead tonight. Yeah. Unforgiveness drops dead tonight. Yeah. Laziness drops dead tonight. Yeah. Lack of diligence drops dead tonight. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything to be corrected, may it be corrected. Yeah. Everything to be pruned, may it be pruned. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Will just flow from here to the healing anointing. You may rise, please, if you can. I want you to lay your hands there. We'll ride upon the wings of this cleansing. And I want to pray healing for someone. Lay your hands, whether it's your chest, lay your hands there. If it's your head, lay your hands there. Believe in, remember, I told you there is a mindset that partners with the anointing. There is a mindset that partners with infirmity if you believe i was so humbled by the testimony of the gentleman who didn't have the ability to smell you can imagine that if something is born he does not even know that's dangerous and yet believing a miracle happened even though it did not happen at the miracle service where he attended he would have been discouraged but he held on to his faith and true to god's word he woke up after an encounter and that's it up until today tonight may be your chance don't trivialize the anointing of the spirit lay your hands don't keep pampering the high blood pressure don't keep pampering the headache don't keep pampering the failure in your organs if you keep partnering with it using a defeated unbelieving mindset it doesn't matter what kind of prayer comes you will remain in that situation but give God a chance to bring his power to your life go ahead lay your hands I want to pray for you I want to pray for you I want to pray for you he's called Rafa the one who heals and for those who are connecting from any hospital 
the spirit of god is ministering healing right now those who are connecting by way of internet by way of television you have someone who is sick even if it's a terminal situation believe god for a miracle right now already the lord is showing me someone i'm watching you i don't know if you are here but i'm watching you you are sitting on a wheelchair the right part of your leg seems to be damaged as a result of arthritis this is arthritis has completely destroyed the right part of your legs but in the name of jesus whether you are here or you're online i declare let power surge through that body now let the power of the holy spirit surge through that body now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there's someone you have glaucoma glaucoma the right side of your eye in the name of jesus christ by the power that raised christ from the dead i declare be healed now be healed now be healed now now there's a lady the right part of your breast is growing unusually like something that is cancerous growing unusually it's like something that is cancerous the power of god is about to touch you wherever you are and the lord is bringing you healing so that that thing does not kill you we speak to you you will not die in the name of jesus now i pray for you every spirit that is back of any infirmity i want to minister to the sick first and then we'll speak deliverance in the name of jesus anyone those outside the overflow outside all who are in the overflows down to the basement those who are here zaria connecting us canada uk all our expressions in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the spirit that is back of any infirmity i curse you from the bodies of god's people in jesus name i curse you from the bodies of god's people in jesus name i curse you from the bodies of god's people in jesus name now i decree and declare be healed in jesus name supernaturally healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name I'm receiving the ministration in my spirit now don't feel embarrassed anyone who has a blood disease blood disease please step forward blood disease leukemia blood disease any kind of blood disease verified please step forward quickly I want to pray for you this is what the Holy Spirit make sure you understand what I'm saying don't come out carelessly blood disease blood disease only blood disease come very quickly let them come please quickly quickly we have to hurry up the blood disease come we're still praying blood disease it will not kill you ss genotype you have the faith join them let the devil let that that cancer be damaged from your life once and for all come blood disease the lord is speaking to me i want to minister to such people right now you see how many people are trusting god for a miracle because there are spirits that are behind this something is living there is such an anointing here blood disease the life of the flesh is in the blood there are spirits responsible for this help that man my sister i'm seeing something like a rope that lady you are holding i curse that spirit now let her go In the name of jesus i'm about to pray for you i don't care what is called this is a miracle service you're about to experience the power that raised christ from the dead blood disease blood disease blood disease there is still somebody outside the overflow outside blood disease hallelujah the lord is ministering to me there is a lady you started having a reaction in your body this is blood related but it happened after you were transfused like 
blood transfusion from that time your body was not normal again after the transfusion I'm going to be praying for all of you here we're still praying and ministering to the sick you see please look at me I want everyone looking at me here to believe for you or whoever you are standing in for that you don't have to remain with that condition remember what I taught you there is a belief system these things are spirits you believe me on that I don't care what the medical name is they are spirits I want to pray for you place your hand on your chest let me speak over you now the same power that ability that raised Christ from the dead I want to curse those spirits and that you are able to walk in liberty afterwards father you have anointed us to be extensions of your power these ones have come because of blood diseases and blood related issues right now I decree and declare every spirit that is responsible for these blood conditions out of them now out of them now out of them now I declare be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name if it's a genotype issue we change it now we change it now help that lady we change it now we change it now SS genotype we change it now by the power that raised Christ from the dead we change it now recurrent crisis going to the hospital we change it now every organ failure that is blood related be healed now high blood pressure be healed now I say it again high blood pressure my God be healed now be healed now be healed now help that lady leukemia be healed now anyone having blood cancer whether you are following online you are in a hospital or you are right here I declare be healed now no matter what it is called be healed now I'm hearing in my spirit liver problem liver problem someone came to church with a liver problem the power of God is touching you right now liver problem be healed now you will not die in the name of Jesus I say to you by the voice of prophecy you will not die in the name of Jesus hallelujah now this is something that we minister to often here but the Lord is showing me again you have low blood pressure and this is because you keep losing blood you're a woman you keep losing blood whether it's your circle or not this thing has I mean you literally can lose blood in a way that you almost begin to feel dizzy it's a demonic attack I cause that spirit now I cause that spirit now I cause help that lady I cause that spirit now now hear me every legal access the devil has over this sickness and this infirmity because you have come out here for those who are here and those who are connecting around the congregation in the name of Jesus that access is broken by the blood 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 we overcame them the Bible says by the blood of the lamb and the words of our testimony I say it again that access is broken by the blood in Jesus name we pray please return to your seats rejoicing very quickly let's celebrate them as they go return to your seats rejoicing in Jesus name hallelujah now I want to pray please listen carefully I want to pray particularly for people who have any kind of organ failure listen any kind of organ failure heart uh, what are the organs in the human body again any organ failure please make your way quickly I, I sense a very strong anointing let's hurry up organ failure 
or if you are standing for someone maybe you have their photo when when the power of god comes like this make sure you receive don't wait and say you will see me after the service that's not how it works when the anointing comes you strike when the iron is hot organ failure they diagnose you of kidney liver heart problem maybe they say your heart has been enlarged please leave your seat and come god wants to heal you now anointing in the sanctuary there is a stillness in the atmosphere oh come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary coming let's make it quick and whether you are coming or not please make sure you are praying don't stand carelessly and you are watching connect also and for those online if there's someone close to you maybe confined a, a, a bad wheelchair something with some organ failure there is a grace for creative miracles here right now and I want you to release your faith I want to pray for you Look how many people standing for themselves or their loved ones. Whilst you are standing, please begin to pray. It's time to pick my new kidney. It's time to pick a new liver, new uh, whatever. Enlarge heart. They told you already your heart is enlarged. Reject that, 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 that demonic report. take a minute to pray ah the healing power of Jesus is about to rest upon you I am serving a living God his name is Jesus Christ he died and rose and gave me victory I have victory one more time sing it from the depth of your heart I am serving a living God His name is Jesus Christ Faith rise in your heart. He died and gave me victory. I Please look at me. Look at me. If God can bring life to bones that were very dry. He brought bones to be joined to its bone, Ezekiel 37, and life came to it again. Then I want you to know that God can correct your organs. You have nothing to lose believing Jesus. Some of you, they told you your kidney is already damaged. Some of you, they told you your heart is enlarged. Damaged organs, maybe prostate, cancer, stage, whatever, final stage. I want you to believe. There are spirits behind this thing and you're about to see it now. I want to pray for you. It is not just a medical condition. It is a demonic condition. I want to pray for you. Place your hand on your chest and perhaps you could not make it here but you know someone who is about dying because of organ failure. Please stand for them while we're praying. Let's believe God for a creative miracle right now. Let me curse these spirits. Organ failure. Father, I stretch my hands over your people. You have brought them out here by yourself. Anyone here under the sound of my voice who is under the influence of the spirits of ancestry, they have programmed themselves to plague you like grandfather died, like father died. You have seen some of those loved ones in your dream. Please help them. I decree and declare, let them go now. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit right now. I cast that spirit right now. I cast that spirit right now. 
spirits of inheritance let God's people go now in the name of Jesus Christ now I declare over every failed organ let there be a creative miracle now a creative miracle now a brand new heart now brand new kidneys now brand new liver now in the name of Jesus help that lady there's a miracle happening here by the power that raised Christ from the dead what I'm seeing is fire this is just what I'm seeing in my vision like fire dropping on people but this is not an impartation this is like a refiner's fire purifying and taking away this dross from your body in the name of Jesus by this ministry of fire every organ that is failed every organ that is dying every organ that is cancerous every organ that is deteriorating receive life right now in Jesus name receive life right now in Jesus name receive life right now in Jesus name I decree and declare you will not die you will not die God is showing me someone there's something they call bone cancer that means your bone is getting softened and I don't know the but something is dying in your bones in the name of Jesus Christ may God come for the rescue for you in the name of Jesus that everyone who has come here you will return with your testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ please return back to your seat rejoicing return back to your seat rejoicing return back to your seat rejoicing let's celebrate them as they go return back to your seat rejoicing Alina sofre ke balaku sabre gedima landu sikata krite sila kaparunde shele ke priata you don't have to come out but if there is any growth in your body breast lump fibroid whatever it is you know there is a growth noticeable growth please lay your hands there i want to pray for you now please lay your hands lay your hands i'm just i'm just walking with what the spirit of god is doing lay your hands please lay your hands great are you lord Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Sing it one more time. to pray for you any kind of growth at all fibroids lumps any sort of growth in your body in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands right now and I declare from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet every growth that has found its way in your body growing and inconveniencing you damaging your organs and your body by the power that raised Christ from the dead I command those growths to disappear now I command those growths to disappear now I say it again growths disappear now in the name of Jesus Christ growths disappear now disappear now disappear now in the name of Jesus now keep your hands there whether I minister directly to your case or not now lay your hands very quickly because of time I want to pray no matter what the condition is keep your eyes on Jesus as I pray expect a miracle right now expect a miracle right now expect a miracle right now
father I decree and declare over your people online across our various expressions and here on site as many who have come with any and all bodily infirmities plagued by demon spirits afflicted sterling on their health in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power that raised Jesus from the dead let life surge to your body now 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 in the name of Jesus let life surge to your body now be healed in Jesus name from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name eye conditions be healed hearing problems be healed speech problems be healed autistic children be healed blindness be healed now all those who could not walk pain bone conditions be healed in the name of Jesus you couldn't move any and all parts of your body be healed in the name of Jesus heart palpitations be healed in the name of Jesus no matter what the medical name is in the name of Jesus I bring you life and healing I bring you life and wholeness in Jesus name I pray 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 now we're going to pray everyone please pray this very seriously this is part of the miracle service are you ready now say father shout it let it be with all your heart say father in this season I decree and declare that I'm going forward I'm making progress lift your voice and begin to pray decree and declare in this season someone is praying you came for a miracle service command your own progress in this season in this season I decree and declare I make progress I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost progress spiritually someone is praying progress in business progress academically progress maritally someone open up your mouth and pray progress progress someone is praying in the name of Jesus in this season I make progress in ministry I make progress in this season I go forward every delay every stagnation against my life against my progress I come against you someone is praying a believer is praying I make progress I make progress I make progress hallelujah praise the name of the Lord in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray this is August the eighth month we are stepping into September the ninth month and the Bible says as soon as Zion travails she shall put forth her son is someone ready to pray shout it say father in the name of Jesus I decree and declare every vision every prophetic word that is still hanging over my destiny as I step into this month and September let it manifest open your mouth and pray let it manifest let it manifest every vision every prophetic word someone pray let it manifest great things that have been spoken concerning me let it manifest let it manifest the increase let it manifest someone you are praying breakthrough let it manifest 
open doors let it manifest let it manifest by the power of the Holy Ghost you are praying let it manifest let it manifest let it manifest, let it manifest. someone pray my marital destiny let it manifest that pregnancy let it manifest the arrival of that anointing let it manifest the open doors let it manifest my prosperity let it manifest the ministry of destiny help us let it manifest as soon as Zion travails travailing in prayer let it manifest Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. In the name of Jesus, let it manifest. In Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray how many of you are ready to rebuke the spirit of delay you're going to shout this let it be from the depth of your heart that there are many things God has said should be by now but there are spirits that have vowed that you will never see the faithfulness of God in that area now is the time to clear them out of the way are you ready to pray Shout it, say Father. Shout it again, say Father. In the name of Jesus. Every delay over my life, over my destiny, by the blood of the eternal covenant, that delay is broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Broken now. Broken now. Delay, broken now. Go ahead and pray. Delay, broken now. Delay broken now. Delay. Mention every area of your life. Cause delay. Cause delay. Cause delay. Call it by name. Cause it by the blood of the Lamb. Shabranta kaparaka tebala kaparuta salavatash. Take a minute and cause delay. There must be results in my life in this season. I cause delay. I cause delay in ministry. I cause delay in destiny. I cause delay over your children. Cause delay over your spouse, over your business. Sabalaka parada kata frest. Skada balanta kata laka parata kata baratos yata. Delay. Delay. In Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray when it was time for Isaac to bless his sons the blessing was to go to Esau but because a secret that was in the heart of Isaac was made open Rebecca had it and when she had it she called Jacob she said something that should come to your brother I want it to come to you and as if it were a joke eventually Jacob received that blessing and Esau cried and said is, is there nothing left let me tell you the truth 
when matters leave the heart of God, you are not the only one who hears it. That God said, I want to bless you. It's not only you who hears it. The gates of hell, wickedness, powers, and everybody is also interested in that prophecy. What God told you is also of interest to demons. Is also of interest to wicked men. But it is your own responsibility to war in the place of prayer and say that which is a portion for me, it must never be diverted in this season. That which is a portion for my destiny, it will not be aborted in the spirit. Is someone ready to open your mouth and pray? Go ahead and pray. That which God has declared concerning me, it will not be diverted by wizardry. It will not be diverted by powers manipulating the heavens. I decree and declare that which has been spoken concerning me. Oh, I will not make the mistake of Esau. I wore a good warfare with the prophecy. I wore a good warfare. My bishopric, another will not take. My bishopric, another will not take. Pray. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't be tired of praying. You're partnering with God to produce victory. Now we're going to pray. We are going to call forth by faith the human agents who have been mandated to partner with prophecy so that it will be manifest in your life. You can call by faith. Remember, I have taught you because one man forgot, Joseph added two years in prison. So when God speaks, the manifestations of his word is not just mindset dependent. You have been taught here that it's also men dependent. We have dealt with the issue of mindset. Someone is going to pray. Shout it from the depth of your heart. Say, Father, Father every, human every human agent who must come into partnership with prophecy for my sake, I cry unto you. May they arise now. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Help us of the war. Open your mouth and pray. Endorse us. Open your mouth and pray. Don't be silent. Don't be careless. Declare by faith. Ordained by God to partner with your rising. Ordained by God to wipe the tears of shame from your eyes. Ordained by God to see to your lifting. Ordained by God every human agent decree and declare they rise for your sake they come to the rescue for your sake Every human agent mandated by God, anointed by God, the father of spirits to show up in this ministry, to show up in my life, to show up in my destiny, bringing direction, enhancing my lifting. I call them forth by faith. I call them forth by faith. I call them forth by faith. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Two more prayer points. Don't be tired. You are returning with your testimonies for sure. In the name of Jesus. In the name God of Jesus. Don't let your pain demean him. He is still the king of the universe. The whole world lieth in wickedness. 
Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about doing good. It takes the manifestation of the power of God to do good. And healing all they that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. For God was with him. For God was with him. We are going to pray. You have to convince yourself. It's going to be a quick walk. And we are going to cry to God. And say, Lord, whatever I carried from my house, whatever I carried from my place of work that I've brought before you, it should not return back with me. It should be clear and evident that I met the Lord Jesus Christ. It should be clear and evident. Right where you are sitting, you will soon stand up, but right where you are sitting, I'd like you to talk to the Lord. Please be serious and be desperate. Lord, I have come to you. I've come to you. I've come to you. I've come to you. My life must be changed. My finances must be changed. My destiny must be changed. Lord, I've come to you as a pastor. I've come to you as a prophet, as an apostle. There has to be greater oil upon my life. Lord, I hear you are a restorer. Restore me. Online, please make sure you are praying. Those outside, make sure you are praying. There is a God that answers prayer. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, it says we were like them that dream, and our mouths were filled with laughter, and said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for them. It says the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. Turn again our captivity. There is a God that can turn around the captivity of men. Pray. Doesn't matter where you are seated, doesn't matter where you are connecting from. The power of God is able to save to the uttermost. Shalabarada Katos. Father, I'm praying that infirmity in my body must leave this night. That financial situation must die this night. That oppression that has kept my family down. Did the Bible not say this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith?
a miracle walker. God is a glory God is your miracle shortly and I'll begin to minister by the Spirit. Your own assignment is to receive. You have come. Let me tell you something. There is enough grace to solve whatever challenge it is that has plagued you. Yours is to believe in the power of God. It says if you will believe you will see the glory of God. If you will believe you will see the glory of God. If you will believe you will see the glory of God. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A lady, the power of God is going to come upon a lady outside. Please carry her and bring her now. There is a lady I'm seeing. I just saw light from in here. Write the power of God upon that lady. Please bring her. Please bring her. And then bring the someone on this row. I'm seeing like like a smoke just going round. And it's like it's locating someone. The power of God is going to come on someone. Please pick the person and bring the person out. You ray. You ray. Hello. From outside, I crush the hand of captivity over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I crush the hand of captivity over your family in the name of Jesus. I saw a lot of oppression over the life of this lady, and in the name of Jesus, we silence the voice of wickedness. We silence the voice of wickedness. Hold on, please. The Lord is showing me something right now. I saw this while I ministered in Abel Kuta. I started seeing snakes on the ground. Snakes on the ground. And that's what I'm seeing right now. And this is, this is the manifestation of a spirit. And there are many families that are under this yoke. Whether you believe it or not, just let me minister to you. I'm declaring right now, the power of God is going to start coming on people that represent those families. Bring them out. You are not shouting anything. You are not saying anything. Bring them out. I'm speaking by the Spirit. The Word of God has been declared. There are families. I'm seeing serpents, snakes, snakes. Inside and outside, bring them. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. And the captives of the mighty, by the fire of the Holy Spirit, I trust those spirits wherever you are, represented in anyone here, represented in anyone here, I speak by the hand of God. You 
shout. Listen. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing what looks like a grave. And the Lord is saying he's delivering families from the power of the grave. In the name of Jesus Christ and at the count of three, any family whether territorially or by whatever connection is tied to the spirit of the grave. I'm declaring at the count of three as you shout Jesus, the power of God is setting you free. One, two, three. The spirit of the grave. The spirit of the grave. The spirit of the grave. I curse you by the God of heaven. The spirit of the grave. 
I taught you by the God of heaven. Just follow me this night. Now, I'm praying for all those in front. They came out because the Lord showed something. I declare by the power of God that the legal access of darkness over your life is broken and at the count of three I speak to these spirits release everything you have taken from these families one two go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies out of their lives out of their destinies I command a release I command a release I command a release release breakthrough Release open doors. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Please just pay attention and let God help you. You came here tonight to receive. Listen to me. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people you dare not go to bed. Someone must come in your sleep and try to sleep with you. Or it may happen once in a while. This is a strange oppression of darkness. And I declare, I'm praying right now. I'm seeing fire all over this place. Because there are many people. That is the root cause of many oppressions in your life. At the count of three, you will shout that name again. That is above every other name. And some of you will feel something leaving you. Immediately, I declare that all these spirits that molest the saints and manipulate dreams and visions at the count of three let there be emancipation one two get ready three i command those spirits go now strangers of the night strangers of the night help that gentleman strangers of the night Bring them out. Strangers of the night. I caused you by the God of heaven. Molesting the saints. Planting sicknesses in their bodies. Hello, Kim Madonna. Madonna a certain family here I'm seeing that they tied the family to the covenant of a stone something that has to do with a stone I don't know what that means and in what tribe but I'm seeing a covenant that has to do with being tied to a stone I don't know if it's for protection or for whatever but in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now by the power of the Holy Spirit that any fraternity with the elements of Christ let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Help them, please. Let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Fraternities with stones and elements and strange fires of the night. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. The mysteries behind the strange hardship of people. The mysteries behind the oppression of people. Oppression of families. Doors. Doors are opening. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Doors. Doors. Some of you will feel fire on your hands. Fire on your hands. Doors are opening, two leaf gates in the spirit, fire on your hand. You will know by the fire that comes to your hand. I'm seeing fire coming on people's hands. That's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Doors opening, 
you must testify. Doors opening, doors opening, doors opening. Age long doors, age long doors that have been closed for many years. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord stand just at the back of this young man. Please shift, my friend. These four ladies, one, two, three, four. I'm seeing an anointing on you people. One, two, three, four. I don't know what it is that God is taking out, but I'm seeing like chains being taken from your feet. Chains being removed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I saw an angel stand there. Chains being taken up from your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ. Chains being taken from off your feet. Listen. Let me explain something to you. This is not just some disorganized jamboree. God is turning the destinies of men out. You will see people return with testimonies because there are forces. Emmanuel. I'm hearing the name Emmanuel. Who is that? Emmanuel. Please don't make the place rowdy. Emmanuel. We're going to pray for the sick now. There are four of you I'm seeing here. You have the call of God upon your life. But there are strange altars that are holding you down. In the name of Jesus, I lose you now. I lose you by the force of the Spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I lose you. I release your ministry. Hear me, I'm speaking by the Spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I stand by this apostolic anointing. I lose you. If I be called of God, I lose you. I lose you from these forces. I lose you from these yokes. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are men that can be alive, let me tell you, but they are dead in the spirit. Emmanuel, I'm praying. We don't have time to minister individuals, individually, but I'm praying for you. The Lord is breaking delay from four of the families with Emmanuel. No, no, once I mention your case, the power of God is coming upon you. You will know it's your case. I stretch my hands now among the Emmanuels and the people delay, delay, delay. There is an anointing coming now. It's crushing that spirit. Just because I'm praying for Emmanuel does not mean it will not come upon you. In the name of Jesus, delay, delay. God is visiting delay. Broken by the spirit of God. Please help them so they don't enjoy themselves. He came to set the captives free. To set the captives free. Hold on. This young lady, lift your hands. This, this, yes, you. Lift your hands. I'm stretching my hands towards you. I don't know what it is that I saw, but I saw something like smoke. The other one, the smaller one with white. Yes. I just saw something like smoke coming out of you. And the Lord is saying this is oppression for many years. That has something to do with your abdominal region. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, let that oppression go. Let it leave you. Let it go. Let it leave you right now. In the name of Jesus there is a woman, now I'm going to pray for people generally, but I don't know how we'll do this. There is a barren woman in overflow three. Barren woman, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. 
please, if, if you can allow the woman to run and come, God is instructing me to lay my hands on her because it's time for her to carry her child. Overflow three. Please let her run and come. Yabone na kawo Sujata ne na kawo Sarkin salam Sarkin alchanda Yabone na kawo Maureen, Maureen, I'm hearing a name, Maureen, 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 what is your name, lift your hands, where are you from, shout Jesus, loud as you can, Jesus, let the power of witchcraft, over your life be broken. My dear, look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus. I crush that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. And the man you see in your dream, in the name of Jesus, may you never see that man again. Please make sure you, they don't, why is mama here? Is she Maureen? This woman, I, I'll pray for you. That woman, come, madam. Is that your daughter? Come, madam. Where are you coming from, ma? Let her come. Sir? Where are you coming from? I'm from area C. Area I'm C? No, I'm... I'm going to pray for you. Mama, you are a sincere woman. But if I did not pray for you, huh? it's a bike that will kill you from the market in an accident. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this woman with a leather of potato and a bike man just comes to jam her together with a truck and they just say survive by that the woman is dead. I'm not a prophet of doom, mama. Please, don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. I extend your life by the power of the Holy Spirit that the plague of death... See, let me prophesy upon someone here. Anyone here that the hand of death is upon you, to see that you will not see the end of this year. I'm praying by the Spirit now. I'm praying by the Spirit and in the name of Jesus, anyone that the Spirit of death is haunting, anyone being haunted by the Spirit of death, I command that it is crushed now in Jesus' name. What is your name, my dear? Maury, come. You will look at a beautiful lady like this. But in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a human being but no face. No face like this. I'm just seeing a blank face like this. Let me tell you what this means. It's a yoke of bad luck. That people stand and cannot bless you. You have what it takes to be blessed and rewarded. The lady on yellow, lift your hands. There's the call of God upon your life. There is a prophetic grace. That is upon you and the lord is saying you are stepping into it right now i stretch my hands to you right now in the name of jesus may the lord bring you into that grace i'm still praying for her in the name of jesus i declare i'm seeing fire coming upon you right now and that fire will unlock a dimension of the prophetic in the name of jesus christ bad luck listen i'm going to hold her but a different person is the one that will receive before i pray for her this is just allow me do my my mad thing hold my hand in the name of jesus i'm not praying for her i'm praying for someone now by the spirit of the lord but the lord is saying i should hold her as i pray for the person lord in the name of jesus this yoke of bad luck i'm speaking now please help them this yoke of bad luck by the power of the Holy Spirit where good things don't seem to happen to you. In the name of Jesus, let it be broken now. 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 Now let me pray for you. Be free. 
by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I take away this that I'm seeing. And in the name of Jesus, you have an identity in the Spirit that brings honor, that brings grace and dignity. In Jesus' name I pray. Where are these ones? We are going to pray for the sick. Your name is Maureen. Are you married? You are married? Yes, sir. But you don't have a child? Yes, sir. From Overflow 3? Yes, sir. Where's your husband? He's not here. He's not, but you are married? Yes, sir. Come and stand here and watch the God of wonders. I don't know you. Madam, from Overflow 3? You are from Overflow 3. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Why did you come? Your name is Maureen. What do you do, madam? Hold on. I'm a businesswoman. You are a businesswoman. Where? I used to sell at uh, young, um, random Kanu. But right now, the business is... Capital. Do you know why I'm asking you? No. I must pray for you. Because this thing is not only you. There is nobody doing well in your family. Your entire family. This is what I'm saying. It's a spirit. Huh? Except you open up something and miss. Even physical money used to get missing from you. You will keep money and count it and found, find out that it's not what you kept. Is that true? If I'm lying, just say I'm lying. Where are you from? I'm from Enugu. Anambra State. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing the state Anambra. I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state now. I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state. Anyone, usually when God shows me this, anybody who is from that state connected by blood, the power of God begins to come upon them to bring deliverance. It's a sign and a wonder. I'm declaring right now in the name of Jesus that anyone who is from that state and that region and there is any force and yoke that is fighting you, be free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Please help them. Be free in the name of Jesus. Anambra State. Be free in the name of Jesus. I'm still seeing the map in my vision. Be free in the name of Jesus. My friend, that young man holding his hands, shout Jesus from where you are. The yoke is broken. I cast it out of your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Look at me. You insulted a woman some years ago. And the woman told you to not be well with you. It was like a joke. Truly the thing followed you. This is what God is showing me. Now, I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know if it, the woman annoyed you or what is it. You insulted the woman and she stood and told you that it will not be well. Because what you were saying about her was not what she did. Hold my hands. The Bible says, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, the scourging tongues of men. The scourging tongues of men. Except you know where you stand. A cause, causeless shall not stand. But if there is a cause, it will stand though. It will stand. Are we together now? I will pray. Where are your siblings, madam? Hi. This woman, no. Oh. You are not here alone. Where are the rest? Call them. Just stand where you call. What is their name? HK. Quickly, please. And Victor. HK, come. And, and who? Victor. That is and Victor. Song. Victor is not your brother. Victor is a small boy. Where is he? Let him come. Because I'm seeing the boy. You are saying Victor is a little boy. Ah, uh, Are you married? Yes. You have a son? Yes. Your son's name too is Victor? Yes. He's the one I'm calling. Is the boy that you are talking yes. about? You said your brother. No, HK is my brother. Let the boy come. As young as that boy is too, if I don't pray for him, he will start stealing. Eh? There are two boys, small boys that will be delivered from this spirit. No matter where you keep anything, they must steal it. We are not condemning people. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. God is delivering people. To the pure, all things are pure. Nobody is calling any family a bad family. 
But this is a place where God is visiting people. Where is the person, please? Come, celebrate him as he comes. You're welcome, sir. I will pray for you. God is going to turn your family around. This is a little boy. My friend, how are you? Come. How old are you? 11 years old. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I will pray for you. How can a nice boy like this and the next thing start picking things? Do you know, let me tell you, these small children that steal are not thieves. It's just that either by carelessness or lack of discernment, it was not dealt with because most of what they steal, they don't need it. That's how you know it's a spirit. Are we together? Yes. That's why it's important that parents lay hands on their children and speak and prophesy. Don't assume they will be spiritual by default. My friend, let me pray for you. Father, thank you for this adorable young man. And this guy has a great destiny. You see this boy. I'm looking at a star rising as I'm laying my hands on him. This is what the Lord is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. You will be a great man. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hold this woman. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, what do you do? A medical sales representative. You, you are a medical sales representative. Medical sales representative. Can I pray for you? Yes. You are a sincere person, eh? but this thing, they are just forces that want to destroy your family. I will pray for you. Eh? April, May, June. It will look like you held a charm. The way God will turn your life around. You believe it? In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. Madam, Come, the power of God is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare this thing that I'm seeing tied to your waist. I lose it right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, be set free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are the one trusting God for a child? Come. How long have you been married? Three years. Three years. No child. You too? Are you married? Five years. Five years. Four months. No child. Child doctor said after two surgeries, they said my father cannot impregnate me. He did surgery twice. Don't cry. Jesus is here. Huh? You went through two surgeries. Where is your husband? He's at home. He's at home. Don't cry. Where are you from? Where are you coming from? Greatland. You see, th these are the things that sometimes worry my spirit. Imagine the kind of trouble that this family will go through. Sometimes we take some things for granted. Imagine the advices. Someone now will recommend and say, go to a herbalist. Go and do this. And don't cry, my sister. Two surgeries you went through. My head. Now, I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach. Look at what is happening to her. Yes, she went through two surgeries. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit that says your husband cannot impregnate you. In the name of Jesus, I set you free now. Madam, I set you free now. I'm praying for the rest, but I set you free now. Hold my hands. Come. In the name of Jesus. I declare supernatural miracle for you now release this woman now as I'm praying for you I'm praying for your husband wherever he is according to the time of life may you return with your miracle children it's over in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God my dear let me why is this woman here you are married to madam? No child? How long? Four years and um, five months. Four years, five months. Where are you coming from? Jigawa State. From Jigawa State. Please come. Oh dear. Do you 
know why God is dealing with these issues? Because He has declared that it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. It's fruitfulness from any dimension. Any dimension. Look at this woman. Look at these women crying. I may never understand what it means for a woman to not be able to take in. I think it's the equivalent of a man not be able to provide for his family. That you come back home and watch your wife and children and they say that they were hungry and you are clueless about where bread will come from. My sister, please don't cry. Who brought you here? You came alone? Sarah. Huh? Sarah. Oh dear. Put your hand on your stomach. Is she a Christian? She's, she's a Christian. Okay. It doesn't matter whether you are a Muslim or Christian. The Lord, everybody the Lord healed in the Old Testament. He healed them and gave them an opportunity to hand their lives over. You just act like this just to show honor and respect people. I will pray for you. There is a name that is above every other name. And in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon your womb. And I declare the embargo of barrenness, five years barrenness, let it be broken right now. Look at this, let it be broken right now. I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. And then I'm seeing you coughing. You are now beginning to cough. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing. But I'm seeing something come out of you. And you are coughing, coughing something out. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be gone now. Let it be gone forever. Let it be gone forever. Let it be gone forever. My dear, put your hand on your stomach. What's your name? Blessing. Blessing. Where's your husband? He's not here. He's not here. Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't care what the medical report is. We agree as a family of faith that this our dear sister carries her miracle child now. I decree and declare according to the time of life return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now i correct it by the power ah, i'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach this is what i'm saying you will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a look at what is happening to her a correction a correction of whatever is wrong in the name of jesus why are they here fruit of the womb uh, we are not praying at random. We we'll pray, Madam. I will pray for you. Where are you coming from? Huh? Nasarawa State. Nasarawa State. Are you alone? No, I'm. You came with who? Only me. Only you. Come. Just the woman. I will pray for her. We have to pray for the sick. But how many of you have seen what God is doing here? Listen. You see, if you love the Lord, and you see God attacking. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord just showed me something now. I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire. And the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now, there freedom now. I'm seeing a family of one, two, three, four, five, six graduates. Nobody's employed. Six graduates. You are all graduates. Nobody has a job. Who is that person? Six graduates. Please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out. Six graduates. No job. Not one person has a job. I want to pray for you. You are the one for the fruit of the womb? Huh? I have to pray for you. I'm seeing something in your stomach. Have you gone to the hospital? You've spoken with a doctor? Don't be embarrassed. I'm seeing something growing in your stomach. And this is not a baby. I will pray for you because 
if I don't pray for you, you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay. Based on what the Lord is showing me. And I'm going to pray for you. Where are you coming from, madam? Kano. Kano. Is your husband here? Is your husband here? Yes. Where is he? Husband, sir, please come. There's that something the Lord wants to do in your family. Don't worry, he's, he's here. He's coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. God bless you. I want to pray for you. You came from Kano too? You came from Kano too, sir? I'm going to pray for you. Things come out of you. Trinity to hand their lives. Trinity to hand their lives over. You just act like this just to show honor and respect people. I will pray for you. There is a name that is above every other name. And in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon your womb. And I declare the embargo of barrenness, five years barrenness, let it be broken right now. Look at this. Let it be broken right now. I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. And then I'm seeing you coughing. You are now beginning to cough. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing. But I'm seeing something come out of you. And you are coughing. Coughing something out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be gone now. Let it be gone forever. Let it be gone forever. Let it be gone forever. My dear, put your hand on your stomach. What's your name? Blessing. Blessing. Where's your husband? He's not here. He's not here. Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't care what the medical report is. We agree as a family of faith that this our dear sister carries her miracle child now. I decree and declare according to the time of life return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now i correct it by the power ah, i'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach this is what i'm saying you will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a look at what is happening to her a correction a correction of whatever is wrong in the name of jesus why are they here fruit of the womb uh, we are not praying at random we will pray madam i will pray for you where are you coming from huh nasarawa state nasarawa state are you alone no i mean you me. came with who only me only you come just the woman i will pray for her we have to pray for the sick but how many of you have seen what god is doing here listen you see if you love the lord and you see god attacking In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord just showed me something now. I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire. And the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of jesus by the mercy of god let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now, be freedom now. i'm seeing a family of one two three four five six graduates nobody's employed six graduates you are all graduates nobody has a job who is that person six graduates please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out six graduates no job not one person has a job i want to pray for you you're the one for the fruit of the womb huh I have to pray for you. I'm seeing something in your stomach. Have you gone to the hospital? You've spoken with a doctor? Don't be embarrassed. I'm seeing something growing in your stomach. And this is not a baby. I will pray for you because if I don't pray for you, you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay. Based on what the Lord is showing me. And I'm going to pray for you. Where are you coming from, madam? Kano. Kano. 
Is your husband here? Is your husband here? Yes. Where is he? Husband, sir, please come. There's Daddy, something the Lord wants to do in your family. Don't worry, he's, he's here. He's coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. God bless you. I want to pray for you. You came from Kano too? You came from Kano too, sir? I'm going to pray for you. Number one, God is going to give you the fruit of the womb. Number two, God is restoring your finances. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. God is restoring your finances. Amen. This is a serious issue. As you are here coming now, the financial trouble you are into is only God that can bring you out. Amen. Is that true? God is going to help you. Madam, put your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, why are they here? Six graduates, no job. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, by your mercy and by your grace, let there be a sign and a wonder in the life of this woman. Just keep her down. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, everything that is wrong, be corrected now. In the name of Jesus, sir, please can you hold my hands? In the name of Jesus, I speak over your finances. There is a grace that can restore. And I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, let me talk to you and then we'll pray for the sick. You are the, both of you, where are you coming from? You are here in Zaria? Yes. And you are, yes, I know your face. Six graduates, no job. Yes, sir. Including you? Yes, sir. Come. No. But there are Can six people. Now? But there's no job for them. Yes, sir. Can we agree that God will give them a job? Yes, sir. And you too? Let's pray. Come. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, there is an anointing that is coming upon you, eh? and is for the sake of your family. In the name that is above all names, I release this grace upon you, and I pray, let the embargo of joblessness be broken now. Even on both of you, I use you as a point of contact to pray now. Something is leaving this lady's hand. You. Something is leaving your hand. I cast that yoke now. In the name of Jesus, your hand is a symbol of your productivity. And I declare in the name of Jesus, let there be liberty. Liberty for all of you. Liberty. I open the doors of jobs. In Jesus' name I pray. Why is he here? You are a graduate. Six. From where, please? From Abuja. Abuja. SOM, yes. You are a, st a school of ministry yes, student. School of ministry student. Madam, let me talk to you. Where are you coming from? Nasarawa State. Yes, sir. Are you married? Bring the person that begins to laugh in the spirit. The hand of God is coming upon someone. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory will not depart from the tents of the righteous. Please bring the person. Let's save time. Father, I establish this victory over this lady's life. The oppression over your life and your family is broken now and broken forever. Broken now and broken forever. We don't have time. Our time is gone. But the Lord is showing me a very serious vision of a lady that entered a relationship with a gentleman and left him and the guy vowed i'm seeing this guy carry not you now i'm seeing this guy carry a photo and taking it to a herbalist in kaduna state hello kim madonna hello hello kim madonna under this grace whose name has been taken for any diabolic activity I stand by the hand of God whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now 
Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. I'm still praying. Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. This is what the Lord showed me. Carry the name of the lady and kept it there. That number one, no decent man will ever come and ask her out. And number two, she will never give birth. This is what I'm seeing. Who shall say a thing and it will come to pass? That when God has not declared it so, I reverse every pronouncement over anyone here in the name of Jesus. I want to pray a prayer. Please forgive me for tonight's miracle service. The way God is taking us. I want to pray. Shade and doctor, please come. The Lord wants to end an old issue in your family. Please come. This is what the Lord is showing me. This thing I'm seeing is as old as more than 60, 70 years. The Lord is opening my eyes to see now. Please, I want to pray for you. Those under the anointing help. Please, I'm just using two of you as a point of contact. But I'm seeing a spirit. This is an ancient spirit. The way this thing works is that men rise. The moment they get to the zenith of anything they are doing, they must die. This is the spirit I'm seeing. Please listen. I'm not... I'm just using them and I'm ministering the way God is showing me. These are not the only families with this thing, but the Lord is saying I should deal with it now. Provided you have not gotten to the pinnacle, you no death will touch you. But the moment you touch that bar, you are going down. And the Lord wants to destroy it. Because God is using both of you to start a new program in the family. I will follow the light. I will follow the lamb. I will follow the lion. I will follow the lamb. I believe in the lion. I believe in the lion. I believe in the lamb. Bring that little girl, as small as that girl you see is. This girl you are seeing is a deliverer of our family. As small as you are seeing this, this little girl. Because this girl stands as an altar of righteousness over her family. And as small as she is, the devil wants to kill her. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, I use this, my dear daughter, as a point of contact. That everything that is not the planting of God, I scatter it now in the name of Jesus. May God use this, our precious daughter, and truly may she be the deliverer of our family. In the name of Jesus. A lady is going to start running because I'm about to pray over a spirit that is in her family. And that spirit is going to start driving her to run away. So I'm telling you in advance, you are going to see the person stand up to start running away. It's, it's not even this lady I'm talking about. This is somebody in the crowd. You will, not even, you will not be in control of yourself. It's a spirit. Because I'm about to rebuke it right now. Father, I thank you for the Bonire family and by extension the various families. The altar that sits upon this family. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives I break that yoke now I stand by the rod of the higher priesthood that ancient yoke that brings down great men over this family be broken I open up the door of increase rise to the zenith of your profession I forbid the spirit of death once and for all In a 
moment in a twinkling of an eye an issue that is age long let me tell you this a mighty deliverance has happened to this family this thing i'm telling you fought their grandparents fought their parents and if not delivered now will still fight them If there's anyone here that this same spirit works in your family, you rise to a position and crash down. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, let fire land upon such individuals and scatter that altar. Scatter that altar forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. It took words to establish the covenant that brought this family in trouble. Now I declare to you, a new order starts in your lineage. A new order starts in your family. Where children live long and they become successful. And that every embargo of witchcraft, once and for all, is broken in the name of Jesus. Madam, I can pray for you now. Where did you say you are from? Nasarawa just, just keep her somewhere there or bring a chair and keep her. You are not from Nasarawa State. You stay in Nasarawa yes, State. Where are you from? Ebony State. Ebony State. Ebony State. State. I want to pray for you. Am I wasting your time, please? One encounter with the power of God is enough to turn your life around. My friend, this man wearing um, you. Yes. Did you come alone? Who did you come with? Where is your wife? Come. It's time for God to change your life. Stand up. Stand up. Please stand up. Stand up. Where are you coming from? From campus, yes, sir. You are from campus, yes, here. Sir. What do you do? I'm a lecturer. In this. You are a lecturer. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Sir, you are not supposed to be at this level now. You are a very brilliant man. You, but there, you are intelligent. I don't know you all, but you are a brilliant man. It's even too grace for you to be given a lecturing job. Yes, it's because there is no way they could deny you. Yes, you are too exceptional. Yes, sir. And you are supposed to be abroad now. Yes. I don't know what has kept yes, you down. Yes, this is what I'm seeing in the spirit. You are not supposed to be here. Yes, but somebody carried your issue and put it under the table. You see, you see what we are talking about? That you carry a man's destiny. See, let me say it. I'm praying to you from my heart. That in the name of Jesus, whatever belongs to you and has been hijacked by the wicked hearts of men, it must be released this night. It must be released this night. Sir, please stand up. What's your department? Sorry, sir. Political science, can I pray for you? Yes, sir. You will know that there is a God in heaven. Amen. What do you do, my dear? I'm not doing anything. You are not doing anything? No, sir. I have to pray for you. Yes, sir. Huh? That trip abroad, you must go. Amen. Amen. Because there is an honor and there is a professor that God has destined that you will meet. Amen. And I'm going to pray. Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, sir, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I release you. And I release your destiny. Amen. Both for you and your wife. Amen. I decree and declare. Scale new heights in your profession. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. There is a friend in your life. And the Lord is telling me to tell you to be careful. There is a friend in your life. Be careful. I won't say more than that. Be careful. What God has joined, let no man put asunder. I'll stop there. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you. In Jesus' name. Madam, you have been here for a while. Let's pray. What are you trusting God for? For marriage. Who came from Joss? Joss. Joss. Where did you come from? Madam, where did you come from? Okay. 
Huh? Focus. From just. Not state of origin where you came from, that you left it and came. Huh? I want to pray for you. What do you do? I, I, I'm a secretary. You are what? I'm a secretary. You are a secretary? Yes, sir. Come, let me pray for you. Hi. One of these days, we'll just trust God and do a night vigil. Honestly, so that we can deal with this issue seriously. You may think that time is being wasted until you see what God is turning around in your life. All these people came from Joss. Madam, say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I will not have what they call that pregnancy. That they'll have to do, um, no, bridge is bridge or something like that. This is what I'm saying. I'm not pregnant. All done. Let me pray for you. Come. You are sick. It looks like pregnancy. Like it's breached. This is what I'm saying. The pregnancy that looks like it's, that will open you up and carry something out. Where are you coming from? Joss. Just... What did they say is wrong with you? Um, multiple fibers. No. A man, don't feel embarrassed. Can I talk to you? A man used to come in a dream. Huh? Yes. And sleep with you. Yes, is that true? Yes. That's what brought this pregnancy. I'm a man of God. Don't be af afraid. You, you heard the story I told you now. Yes, Madam, if I'm lying, look at me before the whole world and say I'm a liar. That you go to bed and a man comes and all of a sudden this started coming. Of course, medically you would think that, okay, you check it, there is nothing there. Yet the pregnancy will not go. How long has this thing been? Three years. Three years. Ah. Don't cry. Don't cry. Who did you come with? May this place remain a place of solutions. Was it not the fallen angels that met with the daughters of men and they became pregnant physically and had strange... Go and listen to my teaching. The mystery of the serpent and the woman. My sister, can I pray for you? You believe in Jesus. Look at this adorable lady. Look at... Imagine a woman carrying this for three years. Is that pregnancy? Does a human being stay three years in the stomach? Are you married? Of course, imagine what this, this means to her marital life. Put your hand there. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this. Look at what is happening to the woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that every seed that has not been planted by God, let it be uprooted in this body. Is it not written that every tree that has not been planted by my father, it must be uprooted. I uproot this right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot this right now. In the name of Jesus. By a strange mystery, may this thing begin to go down and disappear from this woman's body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just keep her down there. Madam, let me pray for you. What do you want the Lord to do for you? I'm believing him for a life partner. Life partner. Do you believe God can give you a life partner? Yes, sir. Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. You are born again. Yes. Father, the Bible says, male and female, he created them. She's not embarrassed. She's standing sincerely and telling you that I came so that God will bless me with a life partner. I lay my hands upon you and I decree and declare may God bring a responsible man to your life. Amen. You will not marry a man that will make your yesterday better than your tomorrow. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare it so. And for all these people standing, I pray for them. May the Lord himself bring miracles over their life. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. I may not have time to minister to all of you one by one. Please forgive me. Huh? Coincidentally, I'm going to just tomorrow. I'll be in just Saturday, Sunday. I'm ministering in a conference. 
I'm excited. I'll be in House on the Rock at Rayfield Saturday and Sunday. I mean, just. But let me pray for you, all of you who came all the way. My dear, look at me. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. With all your heart? Yes, sir. I drive the boy that the devil wants to bring to your life. Say amen. Amen. You, you may not understand what I'm saying, but let me repeat myself. I drive, I did say God drove him in the name of Jesus Christ as one who loves you. Eh? I drive any irresponsible boy that is coming in the name of prayer warrior to destroy your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I'm amen. not looking down. It is God's will that all men be saved. But then I'm telling you that in the name of Jesus Christ, everything that would destroy your destiny, let it be far from you. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. For all of you, I may not know why you came, but let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. In the name, just believe what I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. God bless you. Please go back to your seat, my God. Can we still pray for the sick? How many of you are trusting God for healing? Let me see your hands out there. Okay, this is what is going to happen. It's okay, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. you. You came, you brought them. Okay, I'm going to pray for you now. You just relax. Now, please, because of time, those under the anointing, just leave them if there's no... Usher, hold on. A lady usher, place your hand on that girl. Any lady usher. Release her now. Out! In the name of Jesus. Let it come to an end now and forever. Release her destiny. Release her family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be restoration. And let there be testimonies. Please, this is how we are going to do it. Because our time is already gone. We are going to do three things at the same time. Please listen. Number one, you are going to be submitting your prayer requests. Number two, those who are trusting God for healing in the various overflows. Please Aside from those that I prayed for, for barrenness, if your reason of coming here is barrenness, whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I want you to come to overflow one. I want to pray for you myself. Aside from that, please, you are trusting God for a healing miracle. I want you to move to your various overflows. So those at overflow one, move to the front of your projector stand. Overflow two, the same thing, overflow three, the same thing. Those by the roadside, the roadside down to second equa, join overflow two. You can join overflow two, please. Usher's protocol PR department, coordinate yourself to help them, please. So that the people know what they are doing. Praise the Lord. Those in here, you can come. You can come. The Lord bless you. Now, there are going to be men and women of God scattered across these various places who are ministering under a corporate anointing. Make sure you are standing for healing, please. Make sure you are standing for healing. No, no, no. Those for fruit of the womb, come in, please. The main auditorium. I want to lay hands on you by myself. It doesn't matter what overflow you are. If it is fruit of the womb, please come. The main auditorium. I want to pray for you. Now please listen, just a touch is enough. You don't have to start explaining and telling the men of God this is a problem. Sometimes God can give them words. If they don't, don't worry, just a touch and you will go back. I want you to believe this. That's why you came. Are we together? While that is happening, if you have your prayer request here, you can just wave it and pass it. Let there be an usher. Okay, um, peace is here. You can pass it. Let there be an usher or somebody. Please, um, the various departments, coordinate yourself so that you are collecting this. Let's make it fast. Those online, um, you can use our social media platforms to submit your requests. And we are going to pray on it right now. Please, quickly, quickly.
Ejimi and Ejimi and Promise will go to overflow one. Ejimi and Promise will go to overflow one. Um, Pastor Alpha and Benga will go to overflow three. Overflow three. Pastor Femi and Kenny and Ima go to overflow two. Also extend to those by the roadside. Extend to those by the roadside. Did you get... Let me pray for you, Pastor Lawrence. Come. I will pray for you and then you will join those at overflow three. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the anointing, let the grace of the Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, please, worship team, you give us songs of the Spirit while we are ministering. And as soon as hands are laid on you, you can go back rejoicing. Those who are seated, don't be careless, be praying in the Spirit. Because God is solving people's problems while you gather the prayer requests. If you are yet to submit yours, just wave it and there will be someone to reach you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare that within the next ten or so minutes that we have, do a quick walk in the life of your people. In the name of Jesus, do a quick walk in the life of your people. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone will fall under the anointing here. Once that happens, the power of God will start moving to heal. Right here, those in front here. Okay, so I can start praying now. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Praise the Lord. Please, everyone stand. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Whether you are inside or outside, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the next dimension of my life opens up now. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Please begin to pray. up to the end of this video we believe you are deeply blessed by this video from god's servant apostle joshua selman like i always say and i always always want to remind us that we should go back on this video rewatch over and over and over again reflect on the words pray on them for a better understanding and i pray that as we do that the lord will bless us in jesus name as this new month begins i want to encourage us to take a moment and reflect on the blessings god has already placed in our life every new month is a chance to reset to realign and to renew our focus
focus on God's promises. Whatever you faced last month, remember that His grace is sufficient for you and His strength is made perfect in your weakness. Take this time to thank God for the opportunities ahead and the lessons learned from the past. Many could not stay to give thanks. Many could not overcome those challenges. Many could not even when are not alive this moment to, to, to talk, to give a testimony, but God kept you in good health, in good state, in a sound mind. I want you to take time to thank God for those opportunities, for his mercy, for his kindness upon our life for, from the past month. Let's move forward in faith, knowing that God has something new and exciting for us this month. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to stay connected with us as we journey through this month together. And if you haven't commented, the comment section is always open. Just drop your opinions in the comment section. And also, don't forget to like this video for our first timers. Thank you so much. We are glad to have you here. Thank you for stopping by. And like I said, I would like um, us to be part of the Reflector Hub TV. For that to be possible, just subscribe. Subscribe, hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so all of the videos i'll be posted here on reflector hub tv you will be notified about them thank you so much let's reflect let's meditate on those words a reminder and as we do that the lord will bless us the lord will strengthen us the lord will show us ways diverse way on how to go about it and enlarge our wisdom knowledge and understanding in jesus name do have a good day do have a good week do have even tonight if you're watching this video in the night do have a good night and do have a blessed day ahead thank you so much and see you in the next video